If you're looking for a solution that can combine all of your different online links into one place, Linktree is a great option, but it's not perfect. My name is Yudullah, you're watching Candid or Technology and in this video we are talking about the top 4 Linktree alternatives that you should definitely try out. Now perhaps the best alternative for Linktree is MyLinks. Uh, this company or this service is essentially a clone of Linktree and does everything that Linktree does for free. So uh, as you can see we have some examples here and it looks a lot how Linktree would once you're done setting up your page. It has the same features, it's open source, lets you track things, embed your favorite apps, pick a theme or design your own themes, unlimited visitors and they claim that it's going to be forever free. So my links is definitely a service that you should check out. It does have paid plans so you can get the free plan for your personal my links it comes with unlimited links traffic analytics music link video link seo settings themes qr codes redirects uh, you do have the pro and startup plans as well that add a few more features so more customizations and views for view history integration with google analytics and so on and so forth but if you're just looking for a free alternative my links works great Now, Taplink is also another alternative to Linktree that you can try out for free. Uh, once again, there are pricing plans uh, and the basic plan will always remain permanently free, but you can upgrade to the pro and business plans with better templates, uh, custom designs, custom HTML can be imported and so on and so forth with the business plan just going all bonkers with um, CRM systems, automated emails and so on and so forth, marketing add-ons, SSL certificates and everything. So uh, the bad thing about Taplink is that it has this rather obvious Taplink branding on every page that you create, which makes it look like it's free, but setting up is actually rather easy. You just head over to the Taplink website and you're good to go. Uh, even like if I were to show you, you just have to enter your email address here, which is not something I'm a fan of, but you can just click the get started for free button and they will take you through a sign up process. You do need to sign up with something. So I'm just going to go to sign up with Google Taplink at, and they launch you straight into your page builder. Now you can have different templates here. So link in bio, uh, you have some things that you can choose from here. So you can select one of these themes. Uh, you can go to landing pages for your website. So there are a fair number of them available here. So for example, if I were to take this one, uh, it's a very simple drag and drop interface. You can just uh, have click choose, select a new template. Yes, I want to replace it. And now uh, you can go ahead and change all of the links. So you can add your Behance and Dribble links. You can change the name. So my name is not Cassandra Hall. It's Yadullah Abdi. Save changes. Click on the image to upload it. So it's very simple, very basic drag and drop kind of functionality right here. Then you can of course add blocks. So uh, a lot of the blocks as you can probably guess are logged out for the pro and business models, but everything that you need, uh, links, basics, everything for a link in bio sort of link or just one unified link that you can provide to people is available here. So great alternative, tap link, good settings, but um, sort of limited functionality. Now the next thing is Hop by Wix. Uh, this is a service that Wix offers, so of course it works best with their services, but you can use it for your own services as well. This is uh, slightly better in terms of layout and usability as compared to, let's say, Taplink or any offers before it. But uh, you can log in with your Wix account or you can just continue with Google. I'm just gonna continue with Google for this one. And here you go. So uh, as soon as you sign up, you get uh, to pick your display name and you get to customize your own uh, URL. Uh, thankfully, the URL uh, isn't too heavy on the branding. You can just hop to TO and give your name. Click on create account. And that should be it. So now you can select everything that you want to do. Um, some things are obviously going to be logged. So you can have a contact card, event, booking service, whatever, whatever, which is going to go with link button and types of list of links. 
click next of course this can be skipped the whole thing so uh, premium templates are locked you can start with a blank template and edit it your ways or you can just use any of these links to speed up work um i like this one better but i want one with an image so let's go ahead with this use this template and that's it you can uh, go ahead and update all of your instagram usernames you don't have to copy entire links for most things you can just go ahead and type in your username so if i type my instagram username as at the rate of the yadulla and just click this checkbox as you can see my instagram is already here i don't have a tiktok but i do have a twitter same thing twitter and both things are here you can add your whatsapp number your website phone numbers your youtube url linkedin profile snapchat uh, there's a fair bit of social icons that you can smash onto this click next uh no we don't want advanced search because this will this is basically a way to search you uh, sell you their pro features and your linkedin bio page is ready click on the edit page button and uh, no got it and that's that you can go ahead and edit everything that you want on it so if i go to the content you can change the profile image change the cover so you get a bunch of files from your boards the previously uploaded files you can just search shutterstock and unsplash and there is an ai image creator as well this is something that you do not find in a lot of such tools so that's a good feature to have if you're in a hurry and you need something so let's say i look like a car under the stars so that becomes my profile and then of course i can head over to unsplash again and uh, which image should i take this one looks good select item and as you can see my background has been updated so the branding isn't uh, too over the top they do try to sell you their paid features but it's a very very simple sort of method of getting your page up and ready and it's a great alternative to linktree so if you're looking for a really really simple way of just smashing as many links as you can into one you can try context it's uh, free to use of course and you have certain examples that we can look at here so um this is the how the job portfolio look you can check out different buttons and, okay no i don't want a google search right here so yeah you can check out different pages how they look there are different examples for streamers affiliates uh artists uh, if you're a minimalist this is how you can make your page look for a professional like this you can have different slides and all you have to do is just go to ctx.bio just go to this website and type in your handle i'm just going to type in yadulla so you can uh, type in an email and address if your password is optional that's interesting all right um once again it's the same thing as basically every other site you get a bunch of templates to choose from you can start from scratch i'll just go with vibrant click select great for template yes this is the link that i want and there you go uh, once again this is very very simple so you may lack some functionality but you can use it two color gradient so this is how it goes this will keep on animating next up is header so title is going to be yadulla of the description i am a video editor slash creator whatever a uh, premium batch requires the page plan you can upload profile pictures you can upload header images uh, and things of the sort next up is designs so once again header background font color and then you can save it and move on and the slide tab is where we come to our social links so you can uh, swap how actions work and uh, so if i were to edit my home page i can go ahead and add a link there click save 
um, go back to slide if i want to edit my social links once again you can have different icons that you can choose and different links for different websites if you want to add another social icon go ahead and select from the link so let's say discord and then type in whatever your discord url is here and then you can go ahead and click check the design so you want light or dark very simple very uh, quick sort of functionality and then of course you have image layout social icons opt-in forms to capture user emails and direct links that you can use so this is really something that you can play around with very quickly and have a page setup if you need something in a pinch if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we bring for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candidate technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video